Well, now that we're well into spring and slowly approaching summer, you're probably starting to see more of these little guys uh, showing up in your lawn. These are seed heads. Let's talk about what they are, what they're not, and what to do about them. If you live in the Southeast United States, you're probably starting to see higher temperatures, and with higher temps come these guys. These are seed heads, and let's start our discussion over what they are not. Seed heads are not a weed. I've been getting a lot of emails from you guys asking like what herbicide to spray on these, what can you do about to you know, get rid of these guys to, to, to kill them. And these are part of your grass. These are part of your Bermuda grass lawn. Other grass types have them too, but because I'm mainly a warm season guy, we're gonna focus on Bermuda grass. So why are they popping up? Again, seed heads are a stress response as temperatures begin to change. You gotta figure the last time that the grass has seen any temperatures are in this, around this level was probably around August, September of last year. So now that the seasons are really changing, temperatures are really changing, uh, the grass begins throwing off seed heads as a response, as a survival mechanism. So it knows that temperatures are going up. It doesn't know how high the temperatures are gonna get. So as a response, it says, hey, I'm gonna start making a bunch of babies and start throwing these out just in case the temperatures keep going up and I die off, that you know my offspring will propagate and life will go on. But here's the thing, the joke's on the grass, because if you have any kind of hybrid Bermuda, which most of you do, you have Tifway or Tif Tough or some, you know, some other hybrid Bermuda in your lawn, all the seeds that come off of the seed heads are sterile. They're not gonna, they're not gonna germinate, which is probably a good thing, because you figure that in a lot of case, places, Bermuda's considered a weed, so if the seed heads could blow all over the place, they'd get into people's zoysia lawns and other lawns, and with Bermuda being as alpha as it is, uh, you know, you have some pretty, from pretty unfriendly neighbors with, you know, it growing everywhere. So for the most part, the seed heads, even though they're called seed heads and there are seeds that come out of them, they are sterile. So what can you do to suppress them? There's a couple of things we can, we can do about that. The one thing you notice that one section of the lawn that I just showed is it's mowed a lot taller, right? It's uh, near my neighbor's lawn. And because it's, it's mowed taller, you're gonna see seed heads more when that's the case. If you take a look at my lawn, which is mowed much tighter, what you're seeing here is Tifway 419 and Arden 15 mowed at right under half an inch. When you mow it shorter, there are still seed heads, there's still a little bit of seed head action. I'll cut to some footage here, you guys can actually see that, but it's a lot less prevalent. It doesn't catch your eye nearly as much. So with that said, one of the first tips I can give you to help with reducing the amount of seed heads you see in your lawn is to mow a bit shorter. Now, you don't necessarily have to get down to just under half an inch like I am. If you can get your lawn to an inch to an inch and a half, which is even possible with a rotary mower, that's gonna do a lot to reduce the amount of seed heads that you have in the lawn. Another thing to realize too is that even if you don't do that, say you just keep your same cutting height, whatever it happens to be, right? In most cases, assuming you've got healthy soil, seed heads are normally only a two to three week problem. It's really when the lawn is transitioning out of spring and into summer as the heat begins to go up and, it, and the lawn becomes to get stressed, that's when you're gonna start seeing seed heads. So if you just wanna wait for two to three weeks, in most cases, they're gonna go away or be severely reduced, right? Um, now's also a good time if you've not done one as yet in the spring is to get a soil test done because as temperatures go up, right, the grass is gonna get more stressed. So you wanna make sure that if there's anything weird going on in the soil, that we take care of that now. Now's a great time to look into that and make sure the soil's in great shape because again, the grass is gonna be pushed a little bit harder now as the temps go up. And the third tip, the third thing that you can use to help reduce seed heads in your lawn is using plant growth regulator. Now, something I've been using on my lawn for the past month, it's been about, oh, 21 days or so since I put PGR on my lawn. And as you guys can see, even though there are some small spots here and there where there are some seed heads showing up, it's not nearly as bad as what you saw on the front lawn, that one section between my neighbors and my lawn where there's nothing really going on. There's no PGR done there and, and it's not mowed nearly as frequently or as low as my lawn. So plant growth regulator there's definitely something you can do to reduce seed heads in your lawn, as well as tons of other benefits. If you're interested in applying PGR, learning about you know, how to mix it, everything that goes into it, I have a video right here that explains all that in detail to help you get a great result. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.